Did you fit it all in? Everything but this stuff. It's going in my carry-on suitcase. This is definitely the most astronomy gear I've ever flown with and the biggest telescope. This is, it's only 75 millimeter, but my goodness, it takes up a lot of room. The mount, I mean, that's as small as it gets. It's really weird to think that in 24 hours, I'll still be up and hopefully photographing a nebula in Oklahoma. Oh, it's gonna be a long day. What do you think of our rental? We need to fire up that air conditioner. <laughs> the gear that I can't believe it all made it. Especially this guy, the checked luggage. We don't do that very often anymore. About 10 to 6 and we're just kind of scrambling to get our gear ready to drive it back over to the star party and make sure we have everything. That first night setting up is always when you realize if you forgot something or not. Oh man, you know what I forgot? My counterweight. No. I love how this portion is just syrup. Well, <laughs> I wanted that to be my plate because I like to keep mine separate. But... We're staying in the small town of Kenton, Oklahoma. It has a population of about 15 people, 15 to 20 people. It's such an interesting landscape out here. It's very desert-like, very dry, hot during the day, cold at night. We're very close to the Black Mesa State Park, Oklahoma's highest point. Uh, we're right on the border of Oklahoma and Texas. That's why it's called the Okie Tex Star Party. It's really beautiful out here and I'm really enjoying our surroundings. It's just so different from home. I'm looking forward to another clear, dry night tonight and hopefully take some of my best pictures ever under these Bortle One skies. Well, I'm about to present my talk here at Okie Tex. It's on wide field astroimaging. I'm hoping to deliver as much value as I can to the attendees here. And as you can see, the facilities in this small town are impressive. Hopefully it's gonna be a great afternoon for these astrophotographers and that uh, maybe someone will learn a thing or two. So I'm super excited to get started. He's been photographing the night sky for about the past 10 years and he currently works full time on his astro backyard. But if you click the top RGB, it turns them all on. What we wanna do is click on the red. It's a Schwinn. My pedal RPMs are going up. <laughs>
We've had two incredible clear nights so far. Last night was really amazing. We hiked up to the top of the cliff next to the observing field and just sat up there and took some photos and basically lied down on the rocks underneath a Bortle One sky. Needless to say, it's an experience that I won't soon forget. Tonight, the forecast looks a little less perfect, so it might be a good excuse to actually do some more mingling around the field and maybe get some visual observations in through some of the many great visual scopes on the field. Might do some time lapses as well, but I don't expect to get anything too meaningful in terms of deep sky through my telescope, at least not tonight, but it's a nice change of pace. The food, the facilities, the speakers, the late night cosmic cafe, the Okitech star party runs like a well-oiled machine, and it's all because of the wonderful volunteers from the Oklahoma City Astronomy Club at every stop. Five days, four nights, and hundreds of exposures later. We're reflecting on our first ever time in Texas, Oklahoma, and New Mexico to get gas. The Okitech Star Party might have just been our highlight of 2022. We shouldn't have to travel 1,500 miles to see a sky like this, but I'm glad we did.